Hyundai is spending over $5 billion on a battery plant here in North America. Let's get into it. Over at the Hyundai Media Center, Hyundai Motor Group to establish first dedicated EV plant and battery manufacturing facility in the United States. It's a big deal. They plan on selling a ton of EVs globally, but especially here in the United States in the near future. The thing is, all these vehicles that I'm aware of have been coming from South Korea on their EGMP platform or a modification of the current vehicles like the Nero plug-in hybrid and EV as well as the Kona EV. The other exception to that is the GV70 from Genesis will be built here in North America when it debuts probably later this year. So they're picking Georgia to build these fully electric vehicles and this plant is going to be in Bryan County. It will cost them over five and a half billion US dollars. Commercial production begins first half of 2025 with annual capacity of 300,000 units. Which if you watched uh, yesterday's Honda news, Honda plans on selling 2 million battery electric vehicles globally and five, I think it's 500,000 by 2030. We don't know if they'll be able to ramp up to 300,000 units in 2030 or 2025, I should mind you, because that's when it goes online. I, I highly doubt it. It would probably be the second or third year they start getting to this 300,000 unit capacity. It'll be fun to see what the mix will be coming from Korea still to supplement the stateside built EVs. Looks like they'll produce a wide range of EVs. Of course, they'll have to a, a slew of crossovers, right? That's got to be the priority. This plant will be located on a dedicated nearly 3,000 acre site in Bryan County, Georgia, with immediate access to I-95 and I-16 highways, which creates easy access to 250 major metro areas. It is less than 50 kilometers from the port of Savannah, the single largest and fastest growing container terminal in the United States, with two class one rail facilities on site provided by Georgia Central Railway. West Point, Georgia is already home to Kia's manufacturing hub in the United States. This project is expected to create over 8,000 new jobs. That's pretty amazing. EV plant investment comes as part of Hyundai's 2021 announcement to invest $7.4 billion by 2025 to foster future mobility in the United States. Heading over to Automotive News, they're going to have some additional information for us, giving us a bigger scope of just what's happening in the industry, especially here in the United States. This plant in Bryan County is 30 miles northwest of Savannah. Now, according to Automotive News' source, they will be launching the Ionic 7 SUV in 2025, probably built at this plant. And they also said that there will be production for a Kia EV pickup. You heard it right, guys, in a Kia EV pickup beginning in the first half of 2026, followed by a Hyundai brand compact pickup EV in the second half. So it could very well be like maybe the, the second generation of the Santa Cruz, something that sort of nature. I don't see it being any bigger than that because they're talking compact EV pickup. So it's not going to be a full size. It's not going to be like a Nissan Titan or a Toyota Tundra or anything like that. It could even be smaller, maybe on the Maverick side of things as well. Will be fun to see. And gosh, we're not that far. 2026, we're, we're about three and a half years away. Anyway, Genesis EV output is also planned. So yeah, we just talked with the GV70 earlier in the video. It looks like they're going to be building more Genesis models here in North America. I mean, they don't have that many. They have what, three sedans and three SUVs at this point. So they only have six models. GV70 will be made here. I wouldn't be surprised if we see like a GV90 fully electric vehicle, like a really large luxury SUV to kind of go against uh, the upcoming Lexus TX, the Acura MDX, maybe even uh, something larger like the Escalade sort of fighter. It'll be fun to see what they come up with from Genesis. The transition to the US market will be much faster than we predicted before. So we're going to be on the front and they're doing it faster or they're trying to do it faster than anybody else. Holy cow. They, Koreans move so fast. It's incredible uh, how quickly they be, they went from nothing to something. And watch my Kia video. I had the, like I went from like a rags to riches Kia video not that long ago. They're just one of the more entertaining manufacturers out there, including a Kia Hyundai, the Hyundai Motor Group, right? Now I mentioned earlier, Honda wants to sell two million EVs globally by 2030. Hyundai wants to do three million. Toyota wants to do three and a half million and Hyundai and Genesis brands are developing 17 battery electric models by 2030. Kia plans 
lineup of 14 EVs by 2027. By the end of this year, we should have the Ionic 6 based off the Hyundai Prophecy concept. That will be a very sporty, probably like a Model 3 direct competitor. We don't have that many EV sedans out there on the market. Most of them seem to be crossover like vehicles. So be, I'm really excited to welcome in more mass market EVs in the shape of a sedan. They're going to not only look better, but handle better and drive better as well. We mentioned that Kia has a plant in Georgia already. Hyundai has an assembly plant in Alabama. Construction on the EV factory will begin early next year. And we mentioned that it could produce 300 EVs annually, but Jose Munoz said that they could rise that tally to 500,000 units if everything goes well. Hyundai hasn't identified the battery supplier, but we need to look at what they've already worked with and what's in the area. And that is South Korea's SK Innovation. They have a two and a half billion dollar manufacturing plant in North Georgia. And they have a second plant coming online, I think this year or next year as well. I love this interactive map by Automotive News. It shows us what is all going on uh, here. SK Innovation for battery plant, right, in northern Georgia. Uh, we also have Toyota by 2025 will be in North Carolina building battery packs. Tennessee has a ton. So Volkswagen has one in Chattanooga. General Motors, you know, their, their joint venture with LG Chem, the old TM platform in Lordstown, Ohio, but also in Tennessee, they have additional battery plant with LG there, and they will be building the Cadillac Lyric in Tennessee, as well as the Acura EV, whatever they call it. Two more old TM plants are beginning, planned location and timing to be announced. That is a ton of battery pack production coming from General Motors and also Honda, hashtag Gondom, Ford Motor Co. Blue Oval City in Western Tennessee will make batteries along with the F-Series pickup. That will be in Northeast of Memphis, Tennessee. Expected to open in 2025 is the Blue Oval SK. So again, SK Innovations, right? Battery Park. Two plants there, one opening in 2025, one in 2026. We head to the great north of Canada. Stellantis is partnering with LG, just like LG's partnering with General Motors and you can say Honda for that matter. But yeah, they're also working with Stellantis here. They're also working with uh, Samsung to produce EV batteries. And that is expected to open in 2025. We don't know the location of that yet. We're going to switch gears out of North America. We're heading back to Korea. Kia has a big announcement here. They're establishing its first PBV plant in Korea as it accelerates electrified mobility. PBVs stand for Purpose Built Vehicles, and these are essentially commercial vans. Construction of the new facility will begin in the first half of 2023, and production will start in the second half of 2025. We really don't have too much information here because it's you know a ways out, and but but it looks like they're going to be producing EVs of all sorts of different types. They're having a real small one kind of designed for mobile deliveries, things like that. You're going to have e-taxis uh, or electric vehicle taxis. That's kind of what this thing is back here. And these guys, to me, look more like Amazon trucks that are going to be dropping off packages at people's houses, even though the small one will be able to do it. But the small one might be better for like delivering pizza or something. That North American plant for retail vehicles will build 300 to 500,000 years. Uh, this will be 100,000 PBVs a year with cap capacity increase to 150,000 units. And lastly, talking about Korean EVs, we already have a recall on the Ionic 5 and Kia EV6. It's recalled for rollaway concerns. It's a good thing that they're not recalled for battery pack issues because that has stung Hyundai in the past with the Kona BEV, and that has just cost them huge amounts of money but a total of almost 20,000 Ionic 5 and EV6 electric cars are being recalled over rollaway concerns there's a software error in the shifter control unit and effective vehicles could disengage park allowing vehicles to roll away this can happen because of a voltage fluctuation when the vehicle is off and in park and could interrupt the signal from the shifter control unit to the parking mechanism luckily the 2023 GV60 and G80 EVs use the same parking mechanisms, but these EVs haven't gone on sale yet in the United States. And it's my understanding that they were fixed before that they were rolled out of the factory. Now, interestingly, even with over the air updates with these vehicles, it looks like they still need to go back to the dealership to have this updated. And until then, owners are advised to park their vehicles on level ground whenever possible. But I'm going to end it there. 
Lots of battery electric vehicle news coming out of the Korean camp today. Definitely exciting. We're going to see, guys, the global market is changing so fast for better or for worse. I know a lot of you, and myself included, have interest in gasoline cars. My perfect vehicle wouldn't be a battery electric vehicle. It would be a plug-in hybrid. And then on the other side of the camp, you have people who only want battery electric vehicles. And I just want choice. I don't want... EVs only to be forced down our throats. And I also don't like rising gas prices either, though. It's an interesting time we're living in anyways. It is exciting to see new products hit the market regardless of the propulsion system they have in them. But anyways, we're going to end there. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more Hyundai, Kia, Genesis news and reviews. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.